Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of CB's World. I'm Colin, or CB. And I am some bald guy. Stuart, I'm Stuart. In this episode, we're going to be showing you how Lenny took the express elevator of growth and went from a fifth grader in the first semester to a sixth grader in the second semester in the 2017 through the 2018 year school year while we were sixth graders figuring out the chaos of middle school. Lenny was busy, busy leveling up faster than a video game character with cheat codes. I swear, one minute he was playing hopscotch, and then the next he's all about the latest middle school drama. Talk about zero to sixty. For real, man, for real. It's like he skipped the tutorial level and went straight for the boss battle. Hold on to your seats, folks. Now let's roll the video. Oh, I can't wait for Lenny's legendary transformation story. This is gonna be epic. Here we are as sixth grader Stuart. Brian isn't in the same school as us anymore. He's still stuck in elementary school, probably trading Pokemon cards during recess. Oh, definitely. While we're here learning about ancient civilizations, Brian probably on a quest for the legendary Golden Crayon. No doubt. I bet he's being crowned the king of the playground as we speak. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. All right, class, settle down. Today we're diving into the wonders of the ancient world, not the politics of the playground. Let's hope Brian doesn't challenge us to a game of tetherball anytime soon. Agreed. Or we'll be in for a whirlwind of middle school mayhem. Hey Lenny, got any rare Pokemon cards to trade today? Absolutely. Check out this Charizard card. Whoa, Lenny, you're the Pokemon master. Give me that whack Charizard card right now. Oh, what's the matter? Bully, can't handle a little fire. Maybe I should trade you for a Magikarp instead. You think you're so clever. I'll get you for this, Lenny. Good luck with that. Gyarados! Alright, class. It's time for our big fifth grade history test. I hope you all have been studying hard. You bet. Teacher. I've got this. History is my jam. I'm gonna ace this. I'm sure. I have all high confidence. Lenny, did you remember the Battle of Gettysburg? Of course. Um, it's all about the turning point in the Civil War. The Union and the Confederates clashed, and it was a major game changer. And don't forget the Emancipation Proclamation. That was President Lincoln's executive order to free the slaves, right? It was issued on January 1st, 1863, during the Civil War. Okay, everybody, pencils ready. You may begin. Remember, do your best and no peeking at your neighbor's paper. Good luck, class. Great job, class, with the, all your hard work out there. Proud of you. Nailed it. History is my playground. Lenny, you're like a walking history book. You should teach us next time. Seriously. I want to study with you next time. You make it all seem so easy. 
Well done, Lenny. You set the bar pretty high. Keep up with the excellent work, and you'll go far in the world of history. Keep inspiring your classmates. You may be smarter than a fifth grader. Another perfect score, Lenny. You're on fire. Keep it up, and you'll go places. Thanks, teacher. Um, I appreciate the support. History's my jam. After all... Lenny, you're like our secret weapon. Seriously, you're making us all look good with those grades. Nah, we're a team, guys. We got this. Lenny, you done it again. An A plus again. Your consistency is remarkable. No biggie. Teacher, I just put in the effort. I've got this. Lenny's our study inspiration. We're all riding on Lenny's coattails to success. No coattails needed, friends. We're all here to learn together. Lenny, you aced every single test in this semester. Your dedication is outstanding and it's paying off. You're a star student, Lenny. You aced it every subject of, of the grade. Thanks, teacher. I believe in working hard for what you love. Learning is my passion. Lenny, your dedication and academic excellence have been exceptional. Your hard work, positive attitude, and your willingness to help others have not gone unnoticed. You've set a high standard for everyone. So, I've decided you'll be promoted to sixth grade starting next semester. Wow, thank you, Principal. I'm ready for the challenge. It's going to be an exciting journey. And I can't wait to join my older brother Stuart and my friend Colin in the sixth grade adventure. Lenny, we heard the fantastic news from the Principal. We're so proud of you. Your hard work has paid off. And it's a testament to your dedication. That's our boy, making us proud every day. You're growing into an amazing young man, and this is just the beginning of your journey. Thanks, Mom and Dad. I couldn't have done it without your support. You've always believed in me, and that means the world. We always knew you were destined for greatness. Your potential is limitless. Your journey to 6th grade is going to be incredible. We can't wait to see all the amazing things you'll achieve. WTF what? Lenny going to the 6th grade for being too smart? I got to tell Colin this when we get back from winter break. Colin, I have to tell you something. What, Stuart? You're not switching to a career as a stand-up comedian, are you? Not quite, but close. There's something I want to show you. Brian! What are you doing in middle school? Did you win some sort of time travel to 6th grade contest? Ha ha ha, not exactly. I got promoted to 6th grade based on my stellar grades and hard work. They said it was my destiny. I have been getting straight A's on every single test in the last semester. Destiny? I always knew you were a history buff, but this is taking it to a whole new level. Yep. Brian's our little genius. Middle school, here he comes. And that's how Lenny skipped half of fifth grade 
and moved into half of sixth grade. The kid's a prodigy, I'll tell you. Middle school was practically begging for him. Absolutely. They practically rolled out the red carpet for him. It's like they knew he was coming. Um, I have a question. Shoot, Gibson. What's your mind? Why were you guys calling Lenny Bryan back then? It's a bit confusing. <laughs> That's because I thought his real name was Brian until I found his birth certificate in his house about around like almost two years ago. Lenny thought it was embarrassing to have a name Lenny to be. You thought I'll laugh at his real name. But we got past that, didn't we, buddy? Yep, it's true. I knew Lenny's real name all along, but Lenny didn't want me to tell Colin. It was like our little inside joke. I'll say more, but I don't want to spill all the beans, right Lenny? You guys are the best. And yeah, you got it right. My real name is Lenny, and I'm proud of it. It's all part of the legend now. Well, this wraps up for today's Friday episode. Thanks for coming on and tuning in. And we'll see you on the next episode on Monday. Bruh.